Welcome to the Magic City, the football capital of the South, Birmingham, Alabama, home to the UAB Blazers, and the fans here have been eagerly anticipating this clash. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles, taking on a team from the AAC, the UAB Blazers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Blazers will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes with the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. That is a statement play right away. You're playing on the road. The stadium's loud and noisy. You want to quiet him down, run the football down the defense's throat. Quickly complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. In college football, you see this a ton now. And you use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. Catch in the middle, it's Heath. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. A third and long coming up here. To the air. It's Rodemaker. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Hey, QBs, when you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. The offense lining up for a first down play. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. They're going to ride this running back. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. And the pass hits, picked off. Taking it the other way. The 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, UAB. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. It is one thing to come up with the interception. No, 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 don't stop there. Turn it 
win to a score. Make a big play and don't be content. That's right. Go out and make an even bigger play. And he does it. He makes the pick and then takes it all the way back to the house. Looked like a wide receiver, for goodness sakes. Turn on the Jets, making the big play. Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five, and the returner will be brought down. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Looking to pass. It's Rodemaker. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Working the middle, it's complete. And he'll pick up the first down, but he got drilled on that tackle. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Snagged in the middle. It's Mims. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the match. Using the quick game. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And the Golden Eagles come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw it again. Caught on the outside, it's Buckley. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Mims. And that's a live ball. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Man, that's a big mistake. And listen, I'm, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC, I'm, I'm walking over to that guy and be like, listen, it's okay. It's a little bit of a mistake. We're still going to find ways to get you the rock. You're too important to this team not to give you the football. First down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Beebe. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. How about this running back's ability to get into a pass pattern and get into one downfield? Yeah, I like it. And I like the offensive coordinator continuing to work the running back in the passing game. Do more of this. It's easy. It's not... It's not hard routes. It's not things I have to read. It's matchups and what I find when my guy's better than yours and how I take advantage of it. To the air, it's Zeno. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing in the double coverage. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. 
On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And he makes the catch inside the 15. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, UAB. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A 69-yard touchdown drive, and they finish things off with a 44-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he'll return it and try to get behind its blockers. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Southern Mississippi has it back, and the Golden Eagle offense headed to the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. And the run goes nowhere, and that'll send us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. The Golden Eagles will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. Line gets set, first down. Trying to set the tone with the run. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat-like quickness. Here we go. The give to the back. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the lone man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and in a hurry. Working that left side. He's got enough to move the change, and they'll spot it at the 47. 
third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They go to the ground. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. The quarter comes to a close, and UAB is on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll come to the line needing four yards for a first down. They're already two for two on this drive. Zings it complete to the right. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Blazers with the first and 10. Leaves it with the back. Powers through the defender. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. They'll try to run for it. The Blazers will move the sticks. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They're down to the 20, first and 10. They'll run it. It's Beebe. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Let's go. Let's go. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to pass, it's Zeno. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Blazers! There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Southern Mississippi ready to send that offense back onto the field. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, I 
it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense, defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be, and that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Simmons. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Looking to go up top on first down. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football. And the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. The offense set for a first down play. And they'll take a knee and watch this clock keep on winding, winding its way toward a victory. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident. And David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like, you sometimes get overzealous. Sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check, and now bragging rights for a whole year. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.